Hello there, um, welcome to part two. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some images in here, have a little bit of fun with the imagery. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move down the word hello. Now we can see what's going on around it. And what I've done previously is I've done a Google search for everyone's favorite Pokemon, Ludiculo. And I am going to click onto an image of Ludiculo, right click, copy image. And then I'm going to go to Photoshop, I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to go paste. And now my Ludicolo is on here. And you can see over here, we've got this layer here called layer one. That's the image where this lies. So anything that I do to this layer is not going to impact the hello layer. It's not going to impact the background layer. We can see the move tools already selected, so we can move it round wherever we want it to finish, which is where we stop it. Um, you can also see this box here, show transform controls is ticked at the moment. And we've got these nine squares going around the outside. What that means is I can stretch it out or I can make it really, really small. At the moment, you can see it looks a little bit pixelized. When I press enter, it starts to go back to normal. So if you're stretching the image out, it looks really, really pixelized. Press enter when you're done and then unpixelize it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave Ludicolor like that. And now what I want to do is I want to get rid of the right white background around him. I just want my picture of Ludicolo. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make sure magic wand is selected and then making sure I'm on the right layer. I'm going to click on the white area and I'm going to press delete. And as if by magic, Ludicolo is now by himself, happy days. And again, what I can do is I can move him around by selecting the move tool. And then once I'm happy with it, I can move him around where I want to go. And again, with Ludicolo, I can also use a filter on him. So again, here we can see all the different effects that we can do. Well, that looks quite funky, so I'm going to go with that. So now we've got another image on there. So what you're going to do now, nice, easy and simple, is you're going to add a couple of images onto your Photoshop work. Get rid of the backgrounds where suitable and enjoy. See you later.